Good morning, everybody, and welcome to a new vlog. Today is currently Friday, and as you guys can tell, and maybe by the title, I dyed my hair. I just, the blonde was fading, and you guys know back in the day, I think it was maybe October, I tried to go back to brown, or no, it wasn't. That was the extensions. I tried to go back to brown sometime in the winter, like either November or December, and then the blonde just showed through really quick. I haven't had anything done since that and it just faded back into the blonde. So I picked up box dye. <gasps> I know, I did. I picked up box dye. If you're a hairdresser and you're watching this and cringing right now, I'm so sorry. But I did it. I got the Garnier or Garnier Fructis hair dye and I got dark chocolate, which was a little too dark for me. I should have just gone with a medium brown, but that's all right, I still like it. So I'm gonna start off by doing my makeup. I'm just gonna do a quick walkthrough of what I do and then like fast forward through the rest. So let's get ready and then continue throughout our day. So first things first, I need to prime my face and I'm just gonna use the Mirad Invisible Perfecting Shield Broad Spectrum SPF 30. I'm just gonna use a pump. Also, I should say really quick, my skin type, wow, my face gone really red just from rubbing it. My skin type is oily in the T-zone and just normal, you know, on the outside. Okay, so usually I just let that sit for like a minute or two before I go in with my concealer. So next I just go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Sand. And I'm gonna try something new today. I'm gonna spritz my Beauty Blender or my sponge with MAC Fix Plus Setting Primer. I used to do this and then I kind of just stopped doing it. So. Today we're doing it. I think my concealer shade is too yellow toned for me. I've been noticing it more and more, but I just haven't got a different one or a new one, but I can tell it's too like, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, so I already had a damp beauty blender and then adding the MAC Fix Plus for some reason made it very like patchy to blend out instead of a smooth blend out, which I don't remember that happening before, but it happened today. All right, so next I'm going in with a translucent powder. This is the Maybelline Fit Me and it's the poreless powder. I love this to set my makeup. You guys, the, the camera's like attached to my brushes, so if they make noise, that's what it is. And then the brushes, I, oh, I love Real Technique brushes, so that's what I'm using. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Complexion Powder in the shade Natural Beige, and a very, very, very fluffy Royal and Lang Nickel brush, which is from Walmart. Okay, next I'm going in with the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. I'm almost out. That was also a Real Techniques brush. And then I'm gonna go in with a blush and I'm gonna use the Tarte Charisma. And it has a little bit of a, like a gold sheen to it. And I put it everywhere. Cheeks, nose, forehead a little bit. Just kind of gives you like a sun-kissed pinky glow. Next, let's go in with, ooh, let's do our brows. And lately I've been using the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit, but today I'm gonna go in with the Gimme Brow Plus, which is a brow volumizing fiber gel, and I'm just gonna go in with that today. But I am gonna brush my brows out first, even though it does come with a brush. All right, let's go in and do our eyeshadow now. Hmm, what should I go with? This is a new purchase, so maybe I'll use this. I ordered it online, it was on sale for like 25 bucks, and this palette's usually 50, so that was a win. And let's go in with the shade Feels. And then I'm gonna take Bang Bang, which is a really pretty light shimmer, and just dust that over my eyelid. Hmm. 
Next, we're gonna go in and do our lashes. I'm just gonna curl them. This is a Revlon eyelash curler. This is not the right curler. This is wrong. I'm going in with this one, which is also, I believe, Revlon. L'Oreal Revlon. Revlon. And it's like the dramatic curling one. I hope my camera is focusing. Okay, I use this duo all the time. It is my favorite mascara by far. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Base. I don't always use this. Just when I'm feeling a little extra, I use it. You don't have to use it. I do think it makes them a bit longer though. This hair <laughs> getting in my way. <laughs> okay. Once I let it sit for a few seconds, I'll go in and put on the normal kind. And this is the Lash Paradise in Blackest Black. One down, one to go. Look at that difference. It's, it's, just, it's just fabulous. I'm pretty sure I didn't put that white mascara on my lower lashes on this side, but that's fine. So we're going to let that dry, and then we're going to go in with highlight. This is what I'm currently using. I've been using it for about a year now, and it's the Benefit Cookie Highlight. Maybe it's not a year. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> And I just go in and I'm going to dab that right on the top of my nose, on the bridge of my nose. And then my pinky, I'm going to dab that in the inner corner. And then just kind of like tap it on my brow bone. Yeah, that's it. That's makeup done. And then by the time I'm done applying my makeup, I usually go in with my EOS lip balm, which is my favorite. My favorite two are the mint and the vanilla. Should we go in with like a gloss today? Maybe, maybe, mm -hmm. Ooh, yes, okay, we'll go in with these. And these are my favorite glosses by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I got it in a holiday pack, not last Christmas, the Christmas before, so it's probably expired. But this is in the shade Diamond Lip. These lip glosses by Anastasia Beverly Hills is the best because it doesn't get sticky. I hate sticky, so. I've already used a full one of these. These are like the little minis. They're perfect to put in your bag. And, and, oh my gosh, just look at that. Makeup look complete. Also, shirt I am wearing today, show you guys in the mirror, is this one. And it says, I can't read backwards. <laughs> I just want to drink coffee, seek magic, and sleep. And this is by the brand Seeker and Slade. I'll link them down below. Also, if you guys want this shirt and you guys want a percentage off, uh, you can use my code Mindy. I'll have it all written down below. This is a woman's fit, so I assumed it was going to be, like, extremely fitted. Now, it is a women's fit, but it's not a fitted, fitted shirt. So I definitely could have gone with a small or a medium. I asked for a large um, just because I was worried it was going to fit very tight. Uh, but, yeah. If you guys want it, check it out. I mean, this is this is me in a nutshell, so that's always good. Here is little Xy Kitty. I don't know what she's looking at. <gasps> and there's Miss Luna. So I had posted over on Instagram. If you guys are following over there, then you know. But um, today, just like in general, Lexi's just not. She's so. Oh my God! Revealed. Mess revealed. <laughs> Shoot. That's okay, real life, that's how it goes. Um, she's not just growling and hissing, she's doing like these very sassy, loud pitched, and she's very upset, but in general, it's still going well because Lexi's accepting Luna, she just doesn't want her anywhere near her. Um, so that's, oh and here's the brown and like better lighting. Let me come into the exact window. Ooh. Let me see, will it settle? There's helicopters. Um, Let's go outside. I'll show you guys outside. I was gonna save the box and then it was garbage night last night and then I didn't even think about it. I just threw it all away. And here's the other thing. I was gonna film, oh. Oh, the helicopter is like swarming that back area. So Larry's got his binoculars out and he's out like investigating. He investigates like that. And okay, here's what it'll look like in the sun. Are you watching the helicopters? Yeah, I heard a bunch of sirens. Oh, that's never good. Then that could be a life flight. 
So if you guys are following on Instagram, you would have known that earlier this week I went to go get testing done on my back because since last October, I've been having very bad pain in my lower back that goes down my left butt cheek down my leg and into my shin. And it has been there every single day since October. And my doctor ordered x-rays a while ago, I didn't go, and then it just got really bad to the point where Larry and I would go on a walk and I have to take ibuprofen or Motrin and that's not even cutting it anymore. So I got my x-ray results back, which revealed that I have mild arthritis in my lumbar spine is where they did the x-rays. I called them back because the x-rays aren't going to show like what's wrong and I think it's my sciatica so I called back and I'm waiting to hear back but I'm hoping that he'll let me do an MRI or something so that I can figure it out. I definitely need to strengthen um, my glutes, my legs, my core. So I'll play my clip from going to the doctor's office. I'll play that now. I'm not sure if I'm going to upload this or not. I'm just filming the process. So currently waiting to be let into the office. Larry wasn't allowed to come in with me. So I'm just waiting for them to open the door and I called and let them know I'm here. <laughs> just waiting. Okay, so blood pressure, heart rate, everything was fine. What was not fine is I have gained 16 pounds since my last visit here, which was January 20th. So I've gained 16 pounds in four months, which I knew I was gaining weight. I didn't know it was that much weight. And I haven't changed any of my eating habits. I still eat the same and I still eat relatively healthy. So I don't, I really don't know, but that's, that's great. So, um, I mean, I still love my body, you know, but that's, interesting so um still waiting for the doctor to come in i just had my vitals and everything checked and just waiting currently at the imaging place to get an x-ray of my lumbar spine hip and sciatica nerve but there's a technical term i'm talking really quiet because there's people around me but now it's x-ray time I keep giving you guys thumbs up. <laughs> now that you guys have seen those clips, you're a little bit more up to date. So since my doctor's appointment, which was on Tuesday, I have been cutting back on bad foods. Basically, I'm only eating healthy foods. Like, so lots of veggies, lots of protein shakes, but my protein is called, it's a Vega protein. And so it's pea plant, it's pea-based protein. Um, there's like no sugar in it and it's it's a healthy protein. You guys have to be really careful with proteins. If you guys know more about protein powder than I do, which some of you probably do, let me know tips in the bottom below. But I've just been eating like hard boiled eggs, avocados, um, basically I'm cutting out chips, candies, junk food. That helicopter is really going around. Just all that stuff, uh, which I didn't used to eat until I married Lawrence. <laughs> I can't blame him. But anyways, I have put on 16 pounds since my last visit to the doctor's office, which was in January. You guys know when I went, I had that really bad illness. Like I was coughing, I had fever, I lost my voice. Um, I was sick for a good two and a half weeks and I still kind of went to Orlando and Universal and did all the fun things anyways. But from the end of January, January-ish, to now, I have put on 16 pounds, which some of you guys have told me in the comments, so thanks for that. <laughs> um, which, I don't wanna sit here and say, oh, I'm doing this to lose weight, blah, blah, blah. No, I'm doing this because my health is honestly not good. I have disc C3 and C4 issues, like, in my neck, and they wanted me to do physical therapy, and this was like years ago, like a year and a half ago. And I didn't because my insurance, I'm going on a rant. You guys know I'm always open and honest with you guys. So here we go. Just giving you a life update on myself. Um, but they wanted to charge like $300 per physical therapy session. And I was like, I just, I can't, I can't do that. So I started looking up exercises at home and stuff like that. So basically I'm trying to eat healthy, like whole foods. Basically I'm doing a whole foods eating plan and I'm on day like five of that. Um, and then I need to strengthen my core 
and do some more walking. The only problem is the walking triggers my sciatica nerve to send bad pain down my leg and then I have to take medicine, which I don't wanna do. Anyways, I've been put on medications also. So that's, that's the update with my health. The other update was I was gonna actually film dyeing my hair for you guys. I have not filmed in days. I have been so lethargic, so yucky. I've also been put on a migraine preventative because my doctor said, yo, you're taking way too much migraine medication. Uh, we're putting you on a preventative. It's made me very tired, so I quit taking it. So finally, I have the energy to film today. <sighs> Do you think it's, um, Larry's just walked in. The sheriff. Oh, it's a sheriff. Helicopter sheriff. I wonder if they're looking for somebody? I don't know. I don't know either. Anyway, so that's life update. Um, I might tie-dye some things in this video today. I'm not really sure. Or should I save that for another video where I don't vlog on and whine about my health issues? <laughs> I don't know. I was thinking of bleach tie-dyeing some things, babe. Yeah, we do have everything. You're supposed to take like a squeezy bottle and then half bleach, half water, and then pick out some things. So why don't we go pick out some things? Let's go. let's just do it. Screw it. Yeah, I'm, I always put in the title. Well, not always. There's some things that I just can't put in the title because my videos get so long. But well, that would be kind of cool to bleach, wouldn't it? If I can get it off. We have. Ow! I hit myself in the head. What'd we you hit yourself in the head for? We have the queen hoodie. Let's do this one. That would be cool. Maybe we'll do this one. A, like a blue, just to see how that turns out. We're going to do this t-shirt, which is the Ohio State Reformatory t-shirt. And then it has the logo on the back. So I wanted to do at least one t-shirt. Because it is summer. It's toasty. Got it. Got it. It's sweet. I'm here for you, Nick. Thanks, Ben. and we have bleach. So I'm gonna go mix this. Now remember, you want half water, half bleach. And I've seen the tie-dyeing videos on YouTube, so if you guys are wanting to tie-dye, this is more of like me experimenting. Um, I'm not like doing a, a tutorial here. I'm just kinda experimenting with you guys. So let's give it a try, let's see how it goes. I'm gonna do the tie-dyeing out front only because I don't want to do it inside because I'm messing with bleach and I don't want to do it on the lanai because kitties and I don't want them to come near me with bleach shirts. So, let's go. Well, concoction. How does I get it open? Seriously. It's child proof. Oh, we got it. My plan is I'm just gonna swirl them so this one I'm gonna start with the back since the logo is on the back so I guess I'm just gonna kind of like I guess that's how they do it and then go in with rubber bands okay one done next Kind of scared to do this one because I want it to still look good. <laughs> um, all right, again, because the logo's on the back, I'm gonna start from the back and twirl that bit. See, this is why we're doing this outside once we do the bleach because kitties are curious and they'll sniff it. All right, that one's done, and then this one. She's never been in there before. <laughs> uh, I'll twirl. Should I? I mean. That's what happens when you leave the door open. Lexi, get out of there. Good girl. Just, no, I feel like it's terrible with half mom. <laughs> that's just, uh, it's just towels in there. We have all the cleaners and stuff over on this yeah. side, and she can't get from there to here. And twirl. I guess I'm doing the twirl design on all of them. I, from what I've seen, that's what works out the best and coats the most. So that's kind of what I'm sticking with. Okay, I'm just adjusting where my bands are. All right, time to take them outside and it is time to coat them in bleachy. Bleachy. Bleachy? 
How long does this process take? You're supposed to let them sit for like two to five hours. You just kind of eyeball it by what they look like. Let's go to the front, shall we? <laughs> All right, we've got our bleach bottle. We've got our shirts. I'm gonna kind of start squirting, I guess. I don't know. Some people like limit the sections. Sides. All right, so just let that sit. Next is the queen hoodie. So the black one should turn out like a coppery colored brown. Looks really cool. Okay, and then the blue one, which I'm hoping is gonna turn out super cool because like a cloud, like a fluffy cloud. Would being in direct sunlight change the appearance? That's a great question. Yeah, it might dent deepen it. So maybe I'll do that. These are my good leggings. Why am I doing this with good leggings? Not sure. Something Mindy would do though. Ah! Ah! All right, well, should I mix a little bit more or just let it go? I have no idea. All right, let's just let it go from here, guys. So I will put... This one, which I hope turns out cool. Let's leave it there for a little bit. Okay. Or let's go put it in the sun. Okay. Just so you get a better look at how this fits, um, this is the women's large on me, which is why I like to kind of like roll it and tuck it. Um, but yeah, this is the shirt and then Nixie, this is the office currently, the state of it. Um, this is from the P.O. Box opening that we did, so I need to organize everything and put it away and put my cards in my little memory box. Um, and I just want to, like, Luna's stuff is still in here in that crate and the blanket. She never goes in it. And then this litter box, and she tracks litter everywhere. Of course, she's a kitty. Um, but I am going to clean this room and move everything out so it's more of like an office again because, oh, it's okay, Lexi. Hey, Lexi, see me. She was in here sniffing, so she was probably already on edge and then the door scared her. Okay, I've just switched the battery. Here is kitty number one. Oh, we can put the Halloween mat away too now. And then she just ran right past Lexi, who actually didn't hiss, which is great, but she's giving Luna the death stare. <laughs> but it's good, it's all good. Cats are good. about two hours honestly some time has gone by so let's check the shirts I see the blue one looks so cool all right so here's the blue here's the black ones okay I think they're done so now what I need to do is rinse them with water and then I'm gonna throw them in the washer and dryer Okay, so I'm currently microwaving myself lunch. We're very late. It's five o'clock. I have to edit this video for you guys tomorrow. Okay, so the clothes just came out. So let me show you them. Okay, so this is number one. Let me put my hair back. I can't tell if it looks 
like an oopsie tie-dye or like Larry says it looks like a blue cow. <laughs> oh, uh, let me just turn that off while we're filming this part. So this is what number one looks like. I don't know, I wish I would have done more. I knew I should have done more on this, but it's still kind of cute, like still casual. You can roll it up, give it like that cropped look, something, you know. Oh my God, this one came out so awesome. Like I am obsessed, please excuse the hair. How cool is this? It's like, it almost had like a gray undertone so you can see where it's gray, where it was, I don't know. Normally, when you tie-dye black, it comes out like that orange color, but this is like gray and orange, and it is so cool. I'm obsessed. I could have done the back a little bit more, but still, I mean, it's awesome. And then the sleeves have queen written down the side, and you can still read it, which I think is awesome. And then here is the Ohio State Reformatory t-shirt which also I think came out really good. I think the bleach tie-dye works best on clothes that are black. I just think it looks so cool. <gasps> Love it. Let me know which one you guys like the most and I probably need to redo the blue one and bleach it a little bit more because I was running out when I did that one. All right. Yeah, all right guys, I am gonna end this vlog here. I was gonna share like favorites in this vlog as well, but I think I'm gonna save it for the next vlog because I am literally running out of time to edit this vlog and get it up for you first thing tomorrow morning. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below, say hi, and I hope you guys are all doing very well, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye!